This is William Bouguereau, without question is one of the most finest painters of any generation, certainly revered by trained artists and highly praised in his day for knowledge, taste, and refinement. His perfectionism and professionalism were displayed throughout his long career. Beginning as a youth from very modest beginnings, his talent broke through with his notebooks filled with landscapes, through the ranks to be honored by the French nation and admired worldwide. This is a young girl defending herself against love, one of his most famous portraits created in 1880. Here we see a young girl and she's depicted in a moment of emotional conflict and vulnerability. Her facial expression with furrowed brows and pursed lips suggests a mixture of apprehension, determination, and maybe even fear. She stands in a defensive posture with one arm raised as if to ward off an unseen threat, while her other hand is clenched into a fist. The girl's body language conveys a sense of resistance and defiance as if she is protecting herself from the advances of love or unwanted affection. The title of the painting, A Young Girl Defending Herself Against Love, provides insight into the narrative being depicted. It suggests a story of inner turmoil and struggle, where the girl is grappling with conflict, emotions, and desires by personifying love. This is Edgar Degas. He was a renowned French artist famous for his contributions to Impressionism and his innovative approach to painting, drawing, and sculpture. He is best known for his depictions of dancers, racehorses, and everyday scenes of Parisian life. This is Little Dancer, arguably one of his most famous sculptures of all time. I not only chose this because it reminded me of Elton John's Tiny Dancer, but I really loved all the controversy behind this sculpture. She stands with her right foot extended in ballet's fourth position and her hands are clasped behind her back. Its bronze stands at about four feet tall and her skirt is made of fabric. He drew her pose from every angle. He designed an amateur framework for the sculpture before he even started making it. He made plans to exhibit Little Dancer in 1880, but just changed his mind at the last minute. At first glance, I saw a young girl, innocent, poised, graceful. This sculpture was so controversial for its time, and I came to later discover there are several reasons why. The girl is shown in a slightly off-centered position with one foot toward outwards and her arms are behind her back. Her posture shows a sort of shyness and apprehension while her gaze is directed downwards like if she's deep in thought. The reason why it brought so much controversy was due to the real, material, real materials that were used such as wax. It was an innovative approach to sculpture that no one had ever seen before. Others found the depiction of a young dancer unflattering and vulgar. Despite the initial controversy, Little Dancer has become one of Degas' most famous beloved works of all time. It's celebrated for its realism, sensitivity, and psychological depth, as well as its groundbreaking use of mixed media.